Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Of the APC, I 
that we have been able to conduct dual level elections is success. And prior to that, public declarations of a number of my distinguished comrades intending to run as 2023 flag bearers of the party. I honestly and sincerely do want through you to commend them for their spirit of democracy and fair play which is further strengthen our party. I am here today to follow in their footsteps. I have declared to be is my turn to do the same. I had the singular honor and privilege to be chosen as our party's flag bearer and presidential candidate. In last 2018, for reasons many of you they know, but one thing I never lost and I have not lost since then is my will and determination to keep on fighting and keep the flames of the APC burning in almost every community and every part of this country. And I only want my determination and your support have paid off. And I am here today to formally declare that once more I am an aspirant for the 2023 Many of you, many of you have no doubt had the opportunity to listen to the declarations of other aspirants and the motivation and reasons for vying for the flag bearership of the party. Today, I owe you a secret obligation to state clearly where I am again running for that same position. Why am I running again as flag bearer and presidential candidate for the All People's Congress Party for the 2023 presidential election? In 2018, I ran to continue the unrivaled and uncontestable legacy of former President Alex Baikorova, who spiritually is only not here today with his prayers and good wishes. And the legacy to the country to a whole new level of national, social, economic development. I lost that opportunity, as I pointed out earlier, as I did say so, my will and determination to still move that direction has never been lost. And hence, I stand here before you to declare once more as aspirant for 2020. The, the motivation and reason for accepting to run as flag bearer and presidential candidate in 2018 remains the same. That is to celebrate and advance the legacy of the APC on our former president and his wife, the woman. But the fact of losing the 2018 election has created and added a whole new additional dimension in that the Bureau of the Ceylon People's Party government 
is leaving behind most of our institutions, the infrastructure, in a terrible state of decay and shame. There is increasing insecurity in Sierra Leone, and the quality of life of the vast majority of our people has considerably deteriorated. Our collective image and national esteem has plummeted to its lowest level, while the economy has sunk rapidly into a vicious step into incompetence and mismanagement. At the same time, at the same time, we have witnessed endemic corruption, which has kept serious investors at bay. As a continuing tragic public national survival question, the ability of current SLP politicians to find solutions to the new problems Sinaloa faces today. Our political and economic things are backward and disciplined men in what looks increasingly a terminal incompetence. This year we judge the power of our late government answer of a new election and the legacy of the way we have run the country in the government past five years given that in 2018, we inherited a vibrant democracy with abundant resources. The death of the Irish is etched on the face of the Canadian masses who are pessimistic about the future. Angry about the present, we are desperate for the All People's Congress Party to champion their goal. That is the pride of the sourcing masses that has inspired and motivated me to publicly declare today as the party's 2023 Black Bear and Aspirant and Presidential Party. So far, so far, for the next five years, as President of the APC led government of Sierra Leone, our priority is to take and bring back our country. My priority is to unite our people and to move speedily to alleviate the sufferings of our people. To salvage the economy, which has collapsed under these regimes and to put the country on the path to national sustainable development trajectory. Please, please, and I want to beg your indulgence. I know when I listen to this potential while the candidate of President and the Black Corona for the affirm which I just want to say to you so. When President Corona arrived in Tanya report, thank this statement, and I listen carefully, he said, and I quote, Dr. Samuel Kamara has been a key lieutenant for me in ensuring this achievement that I have made for my book. Dr. Samura Kamara was my key lieutenant in the design and implementation of the agenda for change and the design of the agenda for prosperity. <laughs> Following this, I moved him to the foreign ministry to spearhead transformation of our diplomatic service and serve as my key lieutenant in projecting the achievements of the country around the world. To strengthen our multilateral and bilateral relationship and to ensure that more resource flows enter into Sierra Leone to enhance investment. It's a great job and provide better service delivery. 
This is why I talk to the masses. This is why the FBC believes that Dr. Samuel Kumara is the best person to support the achievement they have made. Dr. Samuel Kumara, the FBC believes in him. That he is the best person to secure the achievements we have made during these 10 years of action, progress, and commitment. And to build upon them, and to overcome the many and emerging challenges, and to move forward into new areas and sectors of development necessary to achieve our long term vision of a minimum income country by 2035. I Please, yeah. Samuel Kamara, we will do everything to rise up to the occasion and to his expectation. Yeah. Let me yeah. 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 We're talking about yeah. achieving a middle income country by 2035, but there's one problem. The gap between the scenario we want and the scenario in which we are at present poses a number of critical areas of concern and hence require re engineering and attention. Can you guys give me a list of some of these areas before I articulate, articulate on them? Number one, we have a mandate to improve governance. In this country. Number two, we want to promote national cohesion and inclusion. Number three, we want to fight corruption and enforce transparency and accountability. Number four, we want to repeal, and listen up, we want to repeal trust and efficiency in our public institutions. One is the public institution that's happening and not so. Yes! But I don't want to be done. But I will usually. Thomas, five, we want to restore voice, legitimacy, and democratic freedom for our people. Number six, a very big challenge. We want to bring back economic recovery to fight hunger and abject poverty in this country. Number seven. Number seven. We are all together. We are joining hands to manage FEC in transition. I am the Everything today is a I am a I am a I am a I am a I I am I am a I am a I am I am I am I am I am I am I Finally, number eight, because of my name, what I call uncomfortable truths, why is it that in 60 or more years, we are where we are? I'm not progressing in any meaningful way. It's a big question we'll get for answer. Yes, let me turn now. This time I know some tiny roots from the past. Because for revisiting this past, I move forward, move forward, move forward.
Everyone said little bit about governance. The fundamental requirement for sustainable development anywhere in the world is good governance. Together with accountability and poverty at all levels of economic activity, governance has the potential to listen the process of economic development. Assessing government institutions, private sector, and civil society organizations to be accountable to us, stakeholders, and the rest of the system. I see to bring about the fair, just, secure, and orderly management of public rights, of public affairs in a society that upholds the rule of law. A society that endures and shows that institutions work in accordance with our stated values. Not all by political exigency, not all by others from above. Every institution gets in law when they carry them as a whole and it doesn't follow the law. Don't tell us about us from above. We need effective means to support public institutions to better able to institutionalize democracy and the rule of law. I shall be the public service as a spirit seat for public. Our government system today is characterized by divisiveness, by exclusion, by the weakening of and politicization of state institutions, state capture. Politics is not being split along tribal and regional lines, the sections of the country of individuals along tribal and regional lines. Merit, democracy, almost always excluded. There is also the tendency for those in power to steal national development towards their own area. In building a united and cohesive and prosper, prosper nation, our unity should be our strength. I can always make the joke as a leader, it's a more common way to know before we are. You know that, You got colleagues. Why do you find me to be colleagues? All men and in cabal, everybody. The family, I should make sure that the family get out of administration. I have been family before. I can to Yes. That's a bad Let the people decide. And let the people govern. And let the people enjoy. And I, as a goal, I am free to build the country where if you show up, if you step up, and if you work hard, you will have your fair share of this world. And be fairly rewarded for your hard work. It's the only way in which hard work pays. Cutting corners does not work. A country in which, no matter which side or where it comes from, to be rewarded based on money, not on who you know. I'm a country in which every young person can go. And aspire and reach his or our fullest potential right here in Sarajevo. Yes, I must say, many of you are for the trouble. Of you, police and the non dying are deceived. That's what we're saying, being a pastor. We cannot do all this. Let us develop the being a pastor here in Sarajevo. We want 
as a people, the transforms are made into a country within the public realms of corruption. Public officials work for the common good and are counted and revenue leakages are kept to a minimum. And no money becomes available for the provision of social and economic services. I, Samura Kamara, as I declare today, in your presence and to you, I stand there for the old policeman. I, I, I want to commit myself, I want to commit myself to zero tolerance for corruption. The biggest obstacle to ensuring sustainable national transformation is a lack of serious government commitment to implement the solutions placed on the successful country and to ensure that state institutions are managed in non political and non political manner while including the efficiency public accountability and transparency. The U.S. Constitution guarantees freedoms of speech, yet today these rights are defeated in practice, due largely to political exigency. The government frequently interferes with the work of public institutions in an attempt to control their content. This we must put a stop to. Come on, our country and the Sicilian people ended the year 2022 in unprecedented desolation and despair. 2022 ended badly for us. For all intents and purposes, Cameroon today is a country characterized by human misery and oppression. Overcoming this misery, though an open task, is certainly not insurmountable. It can be done. And the only way we can work to do so is to bring back our Cameroon by bringing all of us together from the southeast and the northwest together once more so that we can build in one direction. We all are living in one life. We all must regard ourselves as one person. But our public ethno-regionalism must be our priority of our diverse country. And it's fine that our people will go to be a sustainable development and prosperity. Once we succeed in the 19th century and our people, only then can we succeed in developing a national framework, a long term perspective capable of meeting and satisfying the basic needs of our people, as well as taking Sierra Leone to the next level. Perhaps it will be our last what level will that be? Is it level 4, level 5, level 6? But certainly we must take Sierra Leone to the next level of development. Next level of self sustained national and social economy for everybody. As we address the bread and butter issues, in the most immediate term, when Samuel Kamara becomes president, we must also comprehensively articulate the underlying factors of social deficits that contribute to a weak economy. Yes, we have that and better issues. Class of rising war, the exchange of our career, class of commodity war, transportation of the world, clean as a new day. Where the tears are not forever. Electricity no day regularly. Water no day. Education is stronger for finance. 
put my interests aside. If you have power and politics aside, and I will work for the NPC, the first one, on June 24, 2023. This is my real objective. Finally, I'm ready for it. The future of Australia depends on what we do in the past and the last time. What you do today will reflect on what you want for the future. The sacrifice you make is the best of it. We are a political country. We must make the choice for growth, for prosperity, for democratic freedom, for national cohesion. Yeah. And my story, yeah, they get you. We must make a choice for confidence, for commitment. Nah, they don't pull it. They don't pull it. They don't pull it. But not to everybody wants to be stuck for you and me to stop. Yeah, I get for our bank about not any vision in that. We must make a choice for a leader that understands the challenges of our nation. The challenges which are going to be facing today. And that leader must have the experience and put a track record. To lead the design and the living of the solution to those problems. Not only that, we have to talk, yap, 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 yap. We have to talk, yap, 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 yap. We all know it's all for me. We all know it's all for me. Let me say, we don't tell you about the public service. That's all you need to know about. Yeah, I don't know you all. That's all you say. That you work where you do, that follow you, that talk for you. Yeah. And what you just say, this is another Kamala, you don't talk for you. I do and talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
If your home is your pride and your responsibility, here, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Not just possible. Not just possible. Not just bad purposes. For them, anybody will get. Anybody will get. The power is all that you get. Well, it's a good high cost of living. The one thing, the one thing that goes out to say. Yes, sir. It's one thing that one man is one thing that. Yes, sir. 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 Yes,